People want to know what's in their food just like they want to know what's in their beer. We're blessed to have a really great agricultural infrastructure here and we definitely get to tap into it pretty often. Fort Pierce is a town where everything is very tightly knit. Everyone knows everyone, everyone plays a role. You know, loyal customers that come in and say, hey, our mango tree has tons of mangoes, so we brewed like a mango Hefeweizen with them. And another customer has uh, brought in cases of star fruit from their house, and we made a, like a session IPA with star fruit. These are pineapples that we got from Nature Farms in Wabasso. Uh, they have a, a really cool variety of pineapple that tastes a little coconutty that we try to get as much of as they'll give us. This is definitely going to be cucumber and pineapple pale ale. Uh, the cucumbers also came from a farm here in St. Lucie County. We actually go down to Natalie's orange juice plant, which is right down the street, and we, uh, we carry a big trough that we we stick under the, uh, when it expels all the leftovers from juicing. They move a truck, we fill it up, and then we walk back and we brew beer. <laughs> Natalie's uses all Florida oranges, so we get to still use all Florida fruit. We definitely do try to stay like pretty close to our people, and, and luckily our people are cool and do cool things. Everyone plays like a enough of a role to where it's like, oh, you don't know this person, go talk to them. They love beer, <laughs> they'll hook you up. <laughs> Our farmers are struggling. Uh, the best that we can do is show like what great things they have. We're, we're local artisans that make cool things and so are they. Uh, if we all support each other, then we hopefully can keep doing what we do at a, at a high level.